<clears throat> Hello, everyone joining the stream. Please stand by. We are just getting things up and running here. You should be able to see everything going on. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Just uh, please stand by as we get going here. Uh, obviously, I don't have my normal... Uh, what do you call it going on here? My normal uh, intro. We're just starting right off the bat here, so... Hello, everyone. Hello. Please stand by. Starting here very soon. And just to uh, preface it, everyone joining the stream, hello and welcome. Uh, today, this live stream will be a fundraiser for the uh, San Andreas Finest community. Any of your donations given down below in the link below will go directly towards... Already, I think we're all ready to begin. The stream or um, the uh, community. I just want to say out of character quickly, guys. I appreciate those who did join to... Uh, or basically came here to join us with SAF's uh, fundraising event. Appreciate each and all of you. We've got... I think four teams here, some security, a referee, and some spectators. Um, and then just really quickly, we've got four main streamers, or sorry, five main streamers for this event. Um, we've got FaZe, who's on the SAF YouTube. We've got Ocean on YouTube, myself on Twitch, um, Roan on YouTube, and uh, Les on Twitch as well. Appreciate your guys' support as well in helping this out. Mm. Um, just remember, guys, Just uh, this is a, supposed to be something fun. Have fun. Don't cheat. Don't kick each other. Don't pull each other. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give it to Dublin Glen on, and we'll start the, the event. All right. Here, here we go, folks. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of San Andreas, welcome to the first annual Los Santos track race featuring the municipalities of San Andreas. Uh, here we have several teams, which are a mixed group of several of the departments. Uh, each of them has uh, different departments within each team, and I will read off each of the teams here. Uh, before we begin, though, I should say that the grand prize for winning today's race is a lifetime membership and supply of food from Burger Shot. Perhaps a little bit contradictive considering the athletes that are here today. All right, so announcing the teams real quick. For the red team, we have from the Sheriff's Department, J. Rossiel. I'm probably pronouncing and butchering that name, but I'm very sorry. Uh, also on the red team from the State Police, we have Colonel R. Less. We also have from uh, the local civilian populace, P. Patterson, V. John from the Sheriff's Office, O. West from the local civilian populace again, and S. Hollow from the Fire Department. Also on the blue team, which is currently being edited apparently, uh, we have Patron from Fire, E. Name I cannot pronounce from the civilian populace. Er, er, nope, not gonna try it, I apologize. We have J. Kroll from PD. M. McLaughlin from the civilian population. We have N. Stanford from the sheriff's office and from PD. A. Worcester. I probably should have attempted these names and practiced them before doing the announcement. From the Cyan team, we have S. Darian from PD. Assistant Chief K. Campbell from the fire department. F. Bernard from the sheriff's department. K. Wolf from the civilian populace. T. Gray from the police department and from the fire department, J. Dodd. And lastly, the orange team, we have Bridget. Oh no. Um, is, is, that, is that a typo? Is, that, is she meant to be? Okay. Um, S. O'Connor from fire, B. Matt from fire, W. S. Shield, sorry, W. Shield from sheriff's department. B. James from PD and B. Marshall from the civilian populace. That is all the teams red, blue, cyan, and orange. Uh, the rules are very simple no kicking and punching each other, no getting each other's way, no cheating whatsoever, and it is a fair fight. I will now turn it over to the coordinator, K. Campbell, for the beginning of the race.
Wait, is this my cue? Yes, yes. unless your name is not Kidot Campbell. All right, really quickly, guys, our first race. This is going to be uh, a series of four races, uh, four relay races. The first one is going to be a standard relay race with flares. Basically, we're going to have our starter racers. Um, first one is going to be John. Are you here, John? Go ahead and come up to me if you are. You're going to be in lanes one and two. Everyone is going to get two lanes because we all know we can't keep in one of these tiny ass lanes. So, John, you're going to be in lanes one and two. We're going to have less. Oh, my apologies. McLaughlin, McLaughlin, you're going to be in lanes three and four. Oh, myself somehow uh, in five and six. And then beat out Marshall in seven and eight. You guys get two lanes to stick to. Uh, we're going to be doing basically passing the flare. So go ahead and get a flare out. And anybody who's waiting to pass a flare, uh, make sure you set that up in advance. So I'll give you guys a couple minutes to set that up. Um, this is going to be a race where you stick to your lanes, your two lanes, and then you got to pass the flare to your next guy. Team captains and or teams will just decide who the next person is going. Um, and then basically once we are set off to run, the next set of people from each team need to get into their lanes and just wait for the Passover. And uh, of course, yeah, for, for, so for the first, sorry, for the first relay race, guys, we are going to be sticking into your lanes. So red team gets one and two, blue team gets three and four, Scion team gets five and six, and then orange gets seven and eight. Um, we do have our referee, our lovely uh, second coordinator here, our referee, is going to be phased. He will be uh, shooting off a blank, again, a blank, to start this race off. Uh, once we go, guys, you guys have to set up your next guy for your team on who's going to get that next flare. Go ahead, uh, Glennon. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. FaZe is shooting blanks at the race today. Uh, also, we are missing, I believe, the uh, participant from the red team at the starting line. Unless I am unable to see him from all, up here. All racers waiting at the line, go ahead and jump. Yes, because uh, currently we have an infestation of spiders on the uh, track. Make sure there are none on your shoes at this time before the race begins, because they will weigh you down and affect your ability to run faster than your opponents. And uh, Coordinator Campbell, if I may ask, where is the uh, red team participant for the uh, this particular race? Uh, our participant is actually there. Can you not see him? Uh, no, I cannot actually. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, oh, testing. There we go. All right, so now we're just waiting for the uh, team to get uh, up and going here and ready. Okay, are we all ready to begin? All right, uh, Chief Glenn, I think we are as best as we're going to go. All right. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see the uh, red participant on the track from my perspective, but that's all right. Also, I just wanted to say to all the participants, or correction, all of the uh, viewers out there watching on live TV and also in the stands here, uh, any of the donations given uh, to the municipalities of uh, San Andreas uh, go directly to this fine community of and, and state of San Andreas and will go towards the continue services of this community to the community. All right. Uh, when you are ready, referee, to begin oh, the wait, race. There is someone on the track back there in the Scion gear. Can you get off the track, please? Uh, he may be actually in the stands. It might be. A, uh, there we go. Okay. Um, very quickly, the Scion team was already filled, so one person's going to have to step out either... Manning or Dodd. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, once again, guys, once the first four racers go, you guys got to choose from your team who's going to quickly come up into their lane and wait for their team member. All right, referee phase, it's all yours. Also, if I may make a very brief announcement, I do apologize, uh, coordinator phase, or uh, referee phase. Uh, at this time, uh, for the uh, live televised version of this for the uh, state, uh, unfortunately, the uh, alerts for the donators are not currently working uh, on uh, your television sets. However, at the end of the race, we will be announcing all of the donators here live and televised. All right, coordinator phase, uh, you may begin. And they're off. Beginning the race, we have uh, Chief Campbell, or Assistant Chief Campbell, in the <laughs> oh lead God, at this bro, time. We also have our coordinator with a hot mic, but however, uh, uh, Cyan team is in the lead with red in second place and blue in third place. Team Yellow is uh, in the rear there at this time. However, Red has taken the lead now, and uh, Campbell is or Cyan is now in second place with blue coming up very quickly behind her. Red team is still continuing in first place and is pulling away from the other two participants as Team Yellow has vanished entirely. Red team, I believe, was and is still in the lead, uh, has passed the torch on. Blue team right behind. We have Yellow team and I believe Cyan team is in third place. I've actually lost eyes on the red participant. I believe uh, my spectacles are having some issues. There they are. All right, red team is still in the lead with blue there. Uh, Cyan is also in third place with yellow behind. It is actually quite surprising to see that Bridget is in the last place. I believe that is Bridget back there. I can't actually tell if it's a state trooper hat or not. Also, uh, uh, coordinator, I believe we have an open mic. The red team is still in the lead, having passed the torch once again, with blue still in second place, and I believe Cyan is not the vehicle, the color, is now in fourth place with yellow coming into the third place position at this time. They are rounding the corner again. I believe this is the second to last lap. Uh, there is a floating Harry Potter car just going over the track there. Don't mind that at all. Security, just... can you handle that car, please? <laughs> red team has gotten back again and red participant for the last lap is now continuing forward. I believe this is the last lap, so we can correct me if that's wrong. Blue and Cyan are now in a tied position Blue now pulling into the lead. Red is again somewhere. We'll find that eventually. There they are. Blue in second, Cyan in third, and Yellow unfortunately very far in the rear position. We're not sure what happened there. There might have been a fumbling of the uh, torch as it was passed from one participant to the next. Red team is apparently going the wrong way on the track and my spectacles, but that's probably incorrect as well. Red, I believe, has some breach. <laughs> there they go again. We're now skating across the map. Or the track, rather. Uh, blue team still in second place. Uh, with Cyan once again vanishing from my view. And yellow continuing to be in the rear. Uh, apparently carrying a rifle of some sort. But I could be completely wrong as to what is going on there. Perhaps they are just pretending they have a gun. And shooting the participants in front of them. Because they are upset that they are in fourth place. I've actually lost eyes on all of the other participants at this time. Uh, not quite sure. There's a bit of desync going on. Or I don't know what that is. Sorry. And <laughs> I am not sure what to say here, folks. I believe the race has now come to a... Con nope, there it is. Red and blue are still on the other side of the track there with red in first place with blue uh, getting very close to that first place position and potentially overtaking at this time. But it is quite unsure at this time if that is actually happening or not. Red, I believe, is still in first place with blue very, very close in second place position. Uh, yellow, I do not see at all and... Yellow is back there, still in fourth place, running a little bit slower than the other participants, I do believe. And I believe that signals the final part of part one of this race with the participants. We are now waiting for the referee to come to his conclusion on the uh, points that are appointed to each of the teams and which team 
would have come into first place, second, third. What did I just say? First, second, third, and fourth place. That is how you do numbers, ladies and gentlemen. Where did Bridget go? Uh, apparently we have. Oh, there's Bridget. The teams are now mingling amongst themselves and other teams as well. Perhaps patting each other on the back or perhaps sharing harsh words with each other. It is unknown from this point of view of the speaker. That was a very close match, ladies and gentlemen, between the red and blue teams. Although it would appear at least from my perspective, it is unconfirmed at this time from the referee, but I believe that red team is in first place. We will know once the results are in. All right, the results are in. For the first rally race, we have red with 10 points leading in first place, blue followed by eight in second, cyan and orange in a tie with six points. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a few moments here to set up the next set of races. Just be advised, um, if you can, especially if you're a new racer on the track, make sure you jump before you really get started on um, on moving on the track. That way we can keep track of you. Uh, so if, if my lovely associates could help me out here um, and set ourselves up, just give us a few moments. And we've got some, uh, I think, announcements for from our commentator. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just a reminder that all... Donations given to the state of San Andreas and its finest members are going directly towards this fine community, all the municipalities, and of course, back into the uh, civilian uh, population and word I was couldn't find. Okay. Currently, we are at halfway to our goal already, sitting at... $461 donated to this fine state of San Andreas. I'd like to thank everyone so far who has participated. And once again, uh, all donation donors will be written, written off. No, that's incorrect. Uh, you will be mentioned at the end of uh, this broadcast. And your name's mentioned, of course. And thanked. The next part of this race is, of course, sponsored by Tequila La. Tequila La, you're not an alcoholic, you're an education provider. Wait, who wrote that? Anyway, the next part of this race will be a jumping obstacle course race where members of the different teams must jump over their various objects in order to win the race. Uh, there is an opportunity here for them to collide with each other accidentally or slip and fall, which could lead them to losing the race. Our fine uh, teams right now are setting up the objects, of course, and getting them ready on the track. This may take a couple moments, folks, which I will attempt to fill with my annoying voice. As you can see... Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, we found a new racetrack that we <laughs> perhaps will use in the future. Don't mind as that gets carried away by our helpful individuals on the track. All right. As we can see, there are a good group of obstacles being set up on both sides of racetrack here which will lead the participants to have a lot need to, they're going to need a lot of upper body strength in order to get across this uh, track here as you can see red is in the lead at this time with blue in second place currently in the race we are moving on to part two of this race out of four uh, we see that uh, Cyan, Cyan, sorry, Cyan and Yellow are tied at this time. Which team will be pulling ahead? We will see. At the beginning of this race, we did see that Yellow did have the weakest play in this race. We can hopefully see them redeem themselves as the race continues to see if they can pull into the third place position in this next round. Blue was in second place for the last match. However, they were very close to winning at the end there as they pulled in just close to the, the finish for red. They may pull ahead into the first place position, so red better watch themselves. So 
Looks like we're getting close to the final stages of setting up this course here. As you can see, they have quite a few things that they need to get around, including dirty old tires, stone walls, uh, very fine um, uh, craftsmanship there, and also some lumber. And I would like to point out that those that fine masonry work there was by Lily's Repair and Equipment Services, also sponsoring this race. We, uh, Lily's Repair and Equipment Services, we will repair anything you bring us, or you can buy whatever you need, even if it doesn't exist. Okay, who is writing these things? Is anyone, can anyone tell me who wrote this? Okay, never mind, folks. Uh, yes, Lily's Repair and Equipment Services. That's some fine stonemanship down there on that track. All right, we're, I think we're ready. All right, you hear it here, folks. Coordinator Campbell has let us know that the track is set up and ready for the next race. All right, guys, this race is going to be jumping over obstacles here. Um, we're going to be starting here at the cones. It is not going to be, you, you are not going to be um, restricted to lanes of any kind. Just make sure you're careful on, uh, you know, not tripping over each other and whatnot. Um, you do have to jump over every single obstacle. Going around them is not an option. Um, we will be starting at the cones. That will be the starting line. Uh, so for the second race, the starters are going to be Les from the red team, Stanford from the blue team, uh, Darren from the Scion team, and then Roan from the orange team. Otherwise known as Bridget. Please remember... Please remember when you do start the race to just jump. I mean, you're going to be jumping all the time here, but just jump so we can keep an eye on where you guys are uh, once in a while on the track. Thank you. All right, take it away, Glennon. All right, folks, you hear, 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 yeah, heard it here first. Uh, our participants are all ready to go here. I believe, actually, uh, if I could ask uh, potentially Coordinator Campbell if she could highlight the names on the team lists that are participating in this round, uh, perhaps putting a highlighter over them just so I know which names are who. And that way we can actually uh, see the names here instead of going with yellow, red, blue, and cyan. Made a little more personal for the, personable for this race. In fact, I might be able to do that myself. Let's see. Uh, Coordinator Campbell, were you able to hear my message? Go for it. <laughs> uh, would, any possibility, would you be able to highlight the names on the team list of who is participating so I can look at them easily? Uh, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see the, 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 starters, the starters. Oh, yes. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, this announcer is ready. We're just waiting from the word from the coordinators as well as the referee as to when this race will be beginning. The representatives of this round have lined up by the starting line, are ready and raring to go. Oh, very quickly, this is a relay race, so uh, once one, the first person goes around, they just got to slap their partner on the shoulder or whatever they want to do, and then that person goes next. And please, folks, remember to slap your partner on the shoulder and not anywhere else the inappropriate. This is a clean race. All right. Racers, ready? Get set. And they're off as they're going over the first obstacle. All four of them at the same time. Cyan is in the lead. Oh, red and blue have collided and have fallen down. Yellow is currently in the lead with Cyan. Coming up on the side with blue and red in the rear. The red has actually gotten into fourth place for the first time. Yellow is in the lead, and of no surprise, it's Bridget. She is sprinting just like most people know she can do, and also representing herself as a cheese ball currently in uh, that coloration of her uniform. But she is just blowing through these obstacles with blue very close behind, as well as red and cyan. Red has actually gotten into the third place po uh, position, but Cyan is really trying to close that distance with uh, jumping over those hurdles as quickly as possible. Blue is still in second place with Bridget as yellow in uh, first place as well. Coming up on the first side, Bridget has slapped her partner and is now 
Moving forward, blue has also done the same, followed by red and cyan as well. Looks like the teams are still staying there. Oops, cyan is actually a little bit behind. They uh, actually slipped on that first obstacle and have now fallen behind a great deal. Yellow is still in the rear, uh, correction, in the front. Coming over the middle part of the next track here with blue actually coming up very quickly and blue actually is passing yellow at this time. Blue is now in lead with yellow very close in second place. Red is also closing in as well and Sion is actually very quickly coming back up and redeeming themselves here. Oh, blue is definitely in the lead now with yellow in second place. Red is also very, very close to taking that second place position. Blue is now coming up on their next partner here. This is the third participant of the blue race is now hit and he is moving forward. Yellow and red have also hit their partners as well and they are participating or moving forward as well. Red and yellow appear to be moving uh, actually in tandem with each other, but yellow actually is pulling into the second place position with red also oh, taking that position yet again. It is a neck and neck race between yellow and red at this time with blue taking a very far lead right now. Cyan is still struggling in that back right there, but they are occasionally closing that distance quite well. They might be able to pull into that third place position if they really hustle it. Blue is continuing to be in the lead here as they're coming up on the last portion of this race with their participants lined up there. I do not see the red member of that track uh, or on that track there, but that's all right. Blue is coming up very quickly. They are closing that distance amazingly. They have now hit their next partner who is now moving and has already begun their portion of the race before the other team members have even gotten to the pass off to their partners. Red, Cyan, and Yellow have all passed off at the same exact time. Oh, Yellow has actually fallen down and has now gotten back up. Cyan and Red are now appear to be, well, I can't see them at the moment, but Blue is still in the lead, a very far lead at this time. Scion and Red are now neck and neck with Yellow closing in very, very quickly. Oh, how far the Yellow team has fallen from this race, folks. They were in first place for the longest time and have now, are now in the rear position, but they appear to be in third, nope, second place, third place. Well, we'll see in a minute here. Blue is so far ahead, he's in his own race. He might as well just lap the other members of it. Yellow seems to be in second place. They are redeeming themselves. It says almost as if they can hear my announcer voice up here and it's really pissing them off. And it would also appear that the announcer has code zeroed. Well, folks, this is an awkward moment in announcing. We'll be right back after we're back. Blue, you can get a member in and running. If yours is code zero, just go. Yeah, sorry, sorry everyone in the chat. Just stand by. I freaking crashed. God damn it. <laughs> uh, of all things for me right, to have happen. Lost their member. They're gonna go ahead and run um with the rest of the sixth place members. So don't worry, you're not gonna be way behind. I also like to thank everyone. Uh, they can't hear me right now uh, in the game world, but I just want to thank everyone uh, who has donated to this fundraiser already. Five hundred twenty-eight dollars so far. Again, all of your names who have donated will be read off later on at the end of the stream. Uh, I do appreciate uh, everyone donating. Of course, the, uh, the SAF community is not in any kind of trouble or anything financially. We're doing very well, but a lot of people have asked uh, for a way to donate to this community directly instead of just the streamers. And that is why we have uh, elected to do this big event today and had you, have you guys actually uh, you know, be able to help and participate with us. So this is, actually, this is actually because of you guys. This is what you wanted, and that's what we're doing now. So uh, it is greatly appreciated, of course. All right. Yep. 
All right, guys, we're just going to go ahead and wait for a commentator. Uh, in terms of placement, we're going to have blue first, Scion second, uh, orange third, and red last. Let's go ahead and tally points. Uh, could our um, helpers please set up the next set of obstacles? Thank you. You heard it here first, folks. That is uh, the current first, second, third, and fourth of the participants. Uh, Coordinator Campbell, could you repeat those numbers or those uh, colors again? Uh, yes, for the second race, it's going to be blue first, Scion second, orange third, and red last. Thank you very much. Yeah, folks, you saw it. Uh, blue was very much in their own race and ahead of everyone. Uh, they had a very strong running game and uh, obstacle uh, maneuvering game there as they went through that track. Uh, <clears throat> we also saw that uh, yellow did redeem themselves by uh, getting out of that last place position into the third place position. Uh, they were originally uh, very much in the lead at the beginning of this tournament, but have uh, definitely gotten to the uh, back end of it. However, there is still time for them to redeem themselves. Their teams have also participated fantastically and have greatly shown their, their prowess in this obstacle course. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next portion of this race, the third part of this race, is going to be a different type of obstacle course. This is going to be a course where they must crawl under uh, obstacles and then sprint to the next ones and then crawl once again. Don't mind the Ron Weasley car that has just taken out our referee. He seems to be fine. Uh, referee Faze, are you okay? <laughs> He's not answering us, folks. I believe he might have a concussion. Uh, Katarina Campbell is checking on him, and he seems to be all right. He's still standing. Hey, bro, he's okay. All right, fantastic. Ron Weasley failed to hurt our coordinator. All right, so they are uh, currently getting the track set up here as Ron Weasley makes a second pass our referee. All right, so we are setting up the track at this time. Blue team is definitely pulling a strong game this time around. And of course that was the uh, beginning of this race uh, was Colonel R. Less. We had Stanford, Darren, and Bridget of course. Bridget, very much like Dwarves is very good at sprinting at the beginning, but then loses all of her steam towards the end, and that's perhaps why Yellow fell into third place this round. Although we cannot put the full blame on Bridget, of course, and I would never ensue that, because there were other participants as well, and each of the teams have done a fantastic job of racing today, and have definitely shown that they did not at all skip leg day. Uh, just a quick uh, notification for our helpers. Make sure that collision's off, if you know what I mean. All right, and the points are in for each team for the total of this half of the race for both part one and part two of this race. In first place. Oh. Pulling into first place is blue with 18 total points. And tied in second place is the red team and the Scion team. And in last place, we have orange with 12 points. Red and blue are tied with 14 points each. And of course, in first place at 18 points is the blue team. And folks, they're still setting up the obstacles at this time in order for them to do the crawl. Some of these logs were, of course, also recovered from a recent highway accident that we had, in which there was a log spill that jammed up Route 13. And some of these logs have actually come from that accident. I'd also like to take this moment to talk about one of our other sponsors, the Yellow Jack Inn. Come around for a cold beer if you like, and we also have... Oh my goodness, what, oh, up. <laughs> and also, 
Ah, I butchered that one. I got distracted for a moment, folks. Yellow Jack Inn. Come on down for a nice cold beer. We also rent rooms. Yellow Jack Inn. Get a nice beer or go upstairs and have a nice... Wait. wait. Okay, we can't say that over the air, folks, but uh, they do have rooms for rent upstairs in the Yellow Jack Inn. Also, I am just looking at the stands right now, and uh, we definitely have a wild, wild group of citizens from San Andreas who have decided to come out with uh, what appears to be uh, party favors and are currently dancing on top of the stands. I hope no one falls down from over there because that is a nasty fall, and most of our firefighters are currently participating in this event. <laughs> Actually, going to launch our drone here and go take a look at them real quick uh, as soon as I can get that uh, up and running here. And let's go take a look at these participants over here as they are getting down, as they say. We even have a uh, police officer who has also elected to participate as well as a firefighter. I believe, though, if I can hear her from up here in this tower... Yes, yep, she is asking for our manager. Unfortunately, uh, the manager is not available because the race is currently ongoing. We also have a member from the DOT here, as well as several other members of the civilian populace. And I do believe, nope, wait. I do believe that is Deputy Chief Jackson Silver standing there. I'm pretty sure that's him anyway. Could be wrong. Wait, maybe, nope, I'll go down here. Never mind, I found him. <laughs> there he is, with the drone hovering inches from his face. We have located Deputy Chief Jackson Silver. It's very difficult to make out anyone because they're all wearing baseball caps and sunglasses as if they are hiding from the FBI, so it is very difficult for me to tell who is who here. We have other participants that's over here as well. All right, Chief Glenn, it looks like we're going to be ready for the next race. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the coordinator has signaled that they are ready for the next part of the race, and I will now turn it over to the coordinator to line up those members, and then she can turn it over to the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, Coordinator Campbell. All right, guys, this is going to be a crawling under uh, obstacles, so make sure you're using that slash E crawl muscle and or get into the... Um... You get into your head and uh, you know what screwed just get into dp emotes and do the crawl emote from there um make sure you are crawling under those logs uh as closely as possible may, try not to clip if you can help it um they are at this time not collision so you can climb or crawl under but again crawl under every single one of them um and just be forewarned that crawl emote does only go straight so you might run into each other and you just have to figure it out uh our starters for this Third race is going to be West for the red team, Baskins for the blue team, Bernard for the Scion team, and then Shield for the orange team. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and as they are sitting up on the track, I just want to state once more that this race is sponsored. However, it is also sponsored by you, the viewers of this lovely event. And of course, if you'd like to help this fine state and the municipalities, such as the fire department, sheriff's department, police department, state department, as well as uh, giving back to the civilian community, you can do so by the donation link that you can find below on this telecast. And all donations go directly to running this fine city. Oh yeah, this is a relay as well, by the way. So just remember you set up all runners in line. And just a um, a reminder: if you can at least jump once or twice throughout the race while you're running, it makes us it makes it easier to keep up with you guys. All right, Chief Glennon, are you completed or done? I am never done, but I am ready for the race to begin. All right, referee phase. Racers, ready? Get set. And they are off with the beginning of the first crawl. They are currently crawling under. This is actually quite a slow race. Oh, I actually uh, having some difficulty seeing here, but I believe, okay, yep, we, that was an actual crawl from the first uh, member there. Yellow is currently in the lead. Uh, I am having a little bit of issue with my spectacles seeing people run through the logs, but that's all right. That's just my old eyes. I am 53 years old after all. Red is currently in the lead. Yellow was in the lead for a moment there. 
However, Red has pulled into that lead with Yellow very close in second place. As they are crawling uh, through there, Blue seems to also be in second place. I haven't seen Red yet come out from those logs there. There's Red right there. We see the Red member. Red is now running across the track to the next log. Blue is also popping out with Yellow in behind them. Uh, I'm not sure where the Scion member is. Uh, I do not see that member of the that team. However, they might pop up. They're probably just under a log somewhere. We see that Blue is still in the lead with Red, I believe, close behind. Yellow also coming up very, very quickly. Ah, there's Scion. Scion is currently in the rear. Oh, I, we actually see Yellow pulling into the first place position. Oh, there goes Red, though. It's very difficult to tell who will be in first and second place here because once uh, it, it's all dependent on the speed of their crawl and then them jumping up and running to the next obstacle. It's very easy for someone to lose their place because of this. This all has to do with upper body strength here, folks. We see the red team crawling out from under those logs, but they are very close to the edge of that track. They have to be very careful not to stray off into the grass, otherwise they may be disqualified. Yellow seems to be in second place at this time. Blue is just popping out from that last log as yellow meet, reaches the next one. Uh, Cyan, I uh, do not have... Yep, there they are. They are actually in the rear there on that last one. Red has pulled into the lead again and has started their crawl. Again, they are very, very close to that grass uh, portion there. Oh, and actually, because they had the reposition around those logs, they might actually... Nope, it actually would appear that they cannot get out from under those logs. So they're going to unfortunately have to jump over due to the fact that they were not able to crawl under them. They're now crawling under the next set of logs. Blue's now jumping over the one that they couldn't get over. Red is now in the first place position, crawling under the next set of logs, as well as yellow also. Crawling. Red is still in first place. Again, very close to the edge of that track. They really need to center themselves in that track. Yellow is also popping up just around that same location. Blue is getting a little bit closer to them and actually closing that distance. And of course, from this height, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my spectacles are a, a little bit uh, foggy and unfortunately, uh, it does appear sometimes as if they are going through the logs, but that is not actually the case. It's just the distance. Yellow is actually looks to be in first place this time. They've actually passed red. Let's see if they can keep that lead as they come around to the other, the last obstacle before they reach their teammates. It would also appear that there is a vehicle on the field if security could perhaps handle that near. Thank you. Yellow has reached the finish line first and has tapped their next participant, as well as Red coming into second place. No eyes on Blue at this time. I do not see where they are. They perhaps are stuck under one of those logs there. We are not quite sure. Scion is having a hard time really far back there. They are still three of the logs behind. Red and yellow seem to be uh, evenly matched at that next set of logs. And we're just trying to keep an eye on all the participants here. Uh, Scion is at the second to last prop. They're moving up on the last one now. Blue is just coming out of the last uh, set of logs as well. Last set of obstacles. And now about to tap their team. And there goes the second blue member currently heading under the first one. Oh, he's actually uh, contemplating going under there. There he is. He's now going under. He took a minute there to... Uh, figure himself out to figure out how exactly to get under those logs. Perhaps he didn't want to dirty his uniform. He was contemplating whether or not he should go to the dry cleaners after this. Now catching up at the front of the race. We see Team Yellow skating across to the uh, last, uh, to the next uh, hurdle. Red appears to be in the lead at this time at the uh, quarter point of the track. Yellow is a little bit further behind from Red than they were previously. However, they are working their way. They actually are directly behind Red right now. Red is still motoring along at a very fast speed here as one of his fellow team members coaches him along. And I do believe he is wearing a monkey mask. I'm going to go ahead and launch my drone and just go see for myself. And yes, that is in fact the case. He is a space monkey. Yellow. Sorry, just to, sorry, just to interrupt. Could we get some of these obstacles uh, uh, removed from the track, if you know what I mean? Yes, indeed. This is actually taking. 
This race is crawling just as much as the participants, folks. Red appears to be in the lead here, coming up under the next part of the logs. We're going to actually uh, sit here. I believe a member of the red team has actually just punched a sheriff's deputy in the face, but I'm uncertain if that's what I just heard. It's very possible. I'm going to put the drone away here because I cannot see the participants at this time. Yellow and red, I'm not quite sure what I'm seeing over here. They appear to be crawling toward me. Perhaps the zombie apocalypse has finally begun, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm not quite sure what I'm seeing here. Uh, <laughs> perhaps my eyes have finally gone, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, I don't, do not think I am seeing uh, what I should be seeing. If all the participants of the race could also jump at any given time once they're able to get up so that we can actually uh, reset that uh, situation. There we go. We see right over there at the uh, three-quarter part of the map, or of the track, rather with his uh, red teammate still coaching him on. He appears to be in the lead. I do not see where Blue is. Blue is actually quite far behind from where they were originally. Red has a significant lead on them. Uh, Scion is a little bit further behind, uh, definitely uh, much further. And also, if we get the yellow participant to jump the next time they stand up, that'd be greatly appreciated. Red team is under a log. We're just waiting to see them pop out to see where they will pop out next. I believe they're on the second to last log. That is uncertain at this time. Unfortunately, my eyes are deteriorating the further along we go here. There's the blue team running, sprinting to the next log as well. Red is just coming out under the last of the logs, about to tap their team member. And here we go, we're giving the trade off now, and Red can now continue with the next uh, op op opponent? No, uh, team member. Blue is just clearing the last one as well here soon, and will be able to uh, tap their teammate as well. Here comes Blue with the last sprint over to their team member and giving the handoff. Now we're just looking back to see where Yellow and Scion are. Scion is, I believe, in third place at this time, and I be do believe that is uh, uh, Katarina Campbell back there. Uh, and then followed by, well, let's go to the drone and find out who that is. That would be Bridget, of course. Bridget is, in my spectacles, not crawling in the right direction, but that's just my spectacles. Campbell is going for the last prop here and crawling under it. Let's get a nice zoomed in view of this participant going forward towards the last part of her race as she goes to tap her teammate. And there she goes going for the sprint and tapping off the next member of Team Scion. Red is still, I believe, potentially in the lead. I'm waiting to see where Blue has ended up. That way I know. Nope, Blue is currently in the lead with Red close behind in second place. Sion is also moving forward as well, and it would appear uh, that Yellow needs to jump in order for me to figure out where exactly they are. Blue and Yellow are currently tied at the uh, one set of props right there. Yellow has definitely moved ahead quite quickly. In fact, I uh, did not expect that. Uh, there is a participant on the track that needs to uh, get off the track, or a, uh, a spectator, I believe, unless I am just seeing that myself. Perhaps it's me that needs to jump, folks. Although I'm not in a position to do that right now. Just waiting to see who is in uh, first place here. It appears that blue and yellow are currently uh, very close neck and neck for first and second place. Unless my eyes deceive me, they have certainly changed up their positions. Uh, yellow was definitely uh, very much in the rear position the last round. Blue is actually currently in the lead by the looks of it, with red and yellow uh, close behind in second and third place, with Scion in the fourth place position. We can see their uh, coordinator going there and uh, assisting with something. I'm not quite sure what she's doing over there. But never Sorry, mind. Just to interrupt, if you see a cone to the right side of the log, it means you can walk through. You don't have to crawl under. 
All right, blue team has now passed off to another member as they continue around the race. Red has also uh, tapped off to their next participant as well. Blue is definitely uh, in the lead quite quickly here. Especially in the words of O'Sullivan, quickly. Red is now in uh, what appears to be second place going on to the next set of logs. I'm just looking for the uh, team member from yellow who I believe again needs to jump. Unfortunately, I am not seeing them in the position that I believe they are actually in. There they are there. They're at the uh, first quarter of the map right behind red. That is a close position. Yellow might in fact pass up red if they are careful and quick enough to do so. Red better watch themselves because they might end up getting passed up there. Team Scion is in the rear still, coming up close on yellow. However, they still have to get into that next set of logs. With the blue team, I believe, still in the lead. Yep, still in the lead, blue team. Again, blue team pulling out a very strong and swift game this time around for this race. They are absolutely killing it tonight. Red team is trying to make up for it, though, and catch up to that blue participant at this time. Will they make it, though? Will they actually take the lead in this race? And just so that we can go over at this time as the race uh, continues, to see here, blue is currently in the lead for this entire race with 18 points, with red and scion tied for second place with 14, and orange or yellow in this case, uh, and in the last place. However, this might actually change up those numbers as this race comes to an end. We now see Blue coming across the track and tapping their next member. Red very close behind. This is a very close one, folks. Red might actually have the ability to pass into first place if they are very quick. In fact, that might have actually just happened as I was saying it, folks. Red was able to get under those logs just before Blue did with a very mighty dive there. And Red is actually popping out on the other side just before Blue. And Red is actually now taking first place in the race with Blue still behind. Blue is now coming up into the second place position. They really need to get themselves moving if they want to retake that first place position. Team Scion is uh, in third place and coming around. I'm not quite sure where Yellow is again, unfortunately for me. Seeing Team Yellow's progress is impossible because they're always, uh, in my eyes, in the wrong place. Blue is currently moving uh, much faster at this point than they were previously before. And we can see that they are now popping up under that next one right there. Blue is still in the lead. We're looking for red here to see where they are. It looks like they might still be stuck under that last set of logs. Unfortunately, in my spectacles, there's red. Nope, that's actually the mascot. Actually lost eyes on red once again. And I can just remind all participants to jump the next time they stand. It would be greatly appreciated. Because there are many spiders on this track. There is an infestation, as we know. Red team is still in the lead with blue still behind and they actually have fallen quite far behind in this round. They might not be able to make it here, but there is one last round to go for them to redeem themselves and get back into that first place position. The next team members have all lined up up ahead. It's just a matter of who gets there first and that might decide this third part of the race. Red is sprinting to the final, final obstacle up ahead and is diving under those logs like, I don't know. Blue is actually still quite far behind. They've actually lost more track than uh, they did previously. They are actually quite far behind that. They might not be able to get into that first place position with the lead that Red has. In fact, Red is attempting to uh, uh, buy Blue a little bit of time by starting their crawl very, very soon before they even reach the logs. That's right, though. Blue could use a little help. Oh, actually, Scion has actually, I believe, passed Blue in a monumental pass at this time. It does appear that Scion has actually moved into the second place position ahead of Blue, now taking the second place and coming up very quickly on Red. This is an incredible turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. 
Zion has actually tapped his partner, but his partner is actually not moving. His partner has not begun the race. Lewis actually might have taken the lead again only because Cyan's next team member has not yet gotten into that crawl. And it does appear that Blue has actually taken back second place. Just checking up on the red member now to see where they are. Red member is at the uh, first quarter of the map, just coming up on the uh, first half here. It does appear that Blue has taken over. Man, that was quite a thing. The uh, sign player seems to have a bit of an anger issue, consistently kicking those logs before jumping down underneath them. Unfortunately, his uh, lack of anger management might be what have cost his team that second place position. He was not ready for the handoff and unfortunately might not have made it or might not be able to keep that position. He is still in the third place position. And Yellow is in fourth place uh, now, uh, ha having been handed off to the final member of Yellow Team. Orange Team. Orange Team. You heard it here, folks, ladies and gentlemen. I am colorblind. Red and Blue are currently tied at the last set of logs. This is incredible. They are now sprinting towards the next one. This is a neck and neck race for the logs. But I think Blue might have dived under those logs just a little bit sooner before Red could. Sion is uh, still participating. Sion, he actually needs to jump before they get under those next set of logs. Uh, they, they just need to jump real quick. Hopefully they can do that. Red seems to have popped up before Blue. Actually, all participants need to jump real quick before they do the next uh, set of logs, please. And Deputy Chief Silver, don't need any commentary from you, sir, on the Twitters. All right, it would appear that Blue is very far forward in the race now. They've actually covered a lot more ground. And Red is behind. Blue has actually hit first place in this race, having completed this race for their team in the third part of this entire race. Red is coming up very quickly on second place as well. And we'll be seeing them crossing the finish line momentarily. And also that member needs to jump as well. There we go. Fantastic. Red has uh, gotten into that second place position. We are now waiting for Scion and Yellow to finish in either third or fourth. Scion is now moving forward. Uh, also, they could potentially jump as well before they hit those logs. Hopefully, there we go. Excellent. Oh, they have actually tripped and fallen on those logs. They are resetting and doing the right thing. That's fantastic because they do have enough time before Yellow reaches them. Cyan is now moving under the last set of logs with Yellow very close behind them, right on their heels. I'm sure the Yellow team can actually smell the gym socks of Team Cyan from that prop right before Cyan finishes in third and Yellow coming up into fourth place right now and that completes part three of the race, ladies and gentlemen. All right, while we get those tallied up, if our uh, helpers can go ahead and prepare for the next race, that'd be great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, while the last part of the race is set up on the track with the helpers, I would like to also remind everyone who is watching on the televised broadcast for today's race that all donations today for this fundraiser race go directly towards the community, directly towards the state of San Andreas and all of its finest members and citizens of it. There is a link below in this broadcast that you can easily donate to. And I will say that we are very close to our goal, now sitting at $838.98 of our total goal of $1,000 as Ron Weasley takes out a member of the red team down the track there, nearly missing our coordinator and referee. And also, folks, I just want to talk about our last uh, sponsor today, and that would be Jet Sam Shipping Incorporated. We at Jet, we at Jet Sam Shipping Provide the area of Los Angeles and Blaine County with a premium shipping and handling service for all local and government entities. Whether you're ordering a car or having it shipped overseas or a local fire department having a brand spanking new apparatus being delivered, we got you covered at Jet Sam Shipping Incorporated. All right, folks, it appears that we have the points currently in for each of the teams to see who is in first, second, third, and fourth place. Currently in fourth place at 18 points is Team Orange. At third place, coming in at an even 20 points, is Team Cyan. 
And coming in to second place with 24 points is Team Red. And of course, that means, ladies and gentlemen, that Team Blue is in first place with 26 points as they come into the fourth and final part of this race. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Blue, in an unprecedented amount of skill and agility, have kept their first place position for the last two rounds of this race. It is an incredible feat to see here. Team Red has also managed to pull out of that tie and into the second place position, leaving Cyan in the dust, but not in the same amount of dust that Yellow or Orange finds themselves in currently. They're really going to have to set up their game if they want to hit that third place position at least. Now, ladies and gentlemen, watching from home and from the stands, for this last part of the race, participants of the race, the racers themselves, will have to both jump over obstacles and crawl under others. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you now see that part two and part three are being melded into part four. Well, they will have to both jump and crawl in order to get to the last part of the race. And as you can see, folks, there are a lot of obstacles for them to get through. Teams seem to be uh, talking amongst themselves and with others. There might be a feud brewing between blue and yellow over there. Our uh, current uh, uh, first place and uh, last place uh, participants there. It is only this uh, speaker's perhaps thoughts that they are either sharing harsh words with each other or patting each other on the back and saying good job. It is only my guess as to which. We also seem to see Team Scion also approaching those teams, hopefully with some kind words as well, as they are in a third place position. And the red team is actually keeping to themselves over there. Perhaps disciplined or antisocial. It is unknown which of those two things it is. We also apparently have somebody playing guitar from the stands, which the sound is traveling quite far. I can hear it all the way up on this tower. We, we may need security to go calm that man down. It would seem that Team Blue and Team Cyan are actually uh, melding together over there to form some kind of new crayon color. I'm not quite sure what that makes, but uh, if anyone uh, can tell me from the stands, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm not sure what you get when you mix Cyan and Blue. Sorry to interrupt. I think we are uh, ready for the next race. All right, folks. The coordinator has signaled us that the next part of the race is ready to go, and she will announce who will be in the uh, fourth place fourth part lead position for the first part of this race. All right, really quickly, um, just due to some errors on our side, if you see a cone either to the left or right side of an obstacle, you can go through it. So if you see a cone to the left or right side or both, you can just go through that. Um, so for our fourth race, it's going to be both crawling under and jumping over, so be ready for that. Our uh, fourth race starters are going to be hollow. Sorry, Hollow from the red team, Worcester from the blue team, Wolf from the Scion team, and James from the orange team. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that they are lining up right now. It looks like the member from red is all hyped up and ready to go. He is jogging in place. Remember, folks, that this race could be the deciding factor of who wins the entirety of this tournament. Racers, ready? Hmm? It appears that our referee's gun has malfunctioned, and there was no gunshot. Uh, negative. We got a uh, racer confused on the racetrack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a brief pause so the uh, racer could actually uh, get his bearings. Not a good sign, ladies and gentlemen. It's very possible that that team member could cost that team that race. But we'll, we will see. All right, really quickly, guys. If you see a cone to the left... Oh, 
Yeah, to the left or the right side of an obstacle that you may only see. It looks like only some people may see them, some people may not. Just go ahead and run through that obstacle, but only if you see a cone to the left or right side of it. All right, racers are ready. On your mark, get set. And they're off, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like an even match right now. We'll see as they pull away. Red is pulling away. Actually, Blue is actually ahead of him now. Oh, Red has taken a tumble over that one obstacle. However, he has pulled it together and has gotten back up again. He actually might have just slid under those logs and pulled into first place. That is an amazing feat right there. I'm not quite sure what happened. That man might actually be part worm or snake. I'm not quite sure. Red is currently in the lead with Blue in second place, with Orange in third, and Scion in fourth place at this time. Red is just killing it right now. He's actually in his own race again. Pulling forward and doing an amazing job of keeping the rest of the team very far behind them. Blue is catching up very quickly, though. Yellow and blue seem to be almost in an even match here, with Scion just in the rear there. Red appears to be uh, under the next set of logs there, as uh, blue pulls into second place. Yellow still in third, and Scion in fourth. Oh, but a little slip up by Blue right there might have cost him that second place position. He might, in fact, now be in last place, but we will see as they pop up from those logs. Red is just jumping over those rocks and tires like they are not even there. Blue is now in second place with Scion in third and Yellow in fourth. They've actually retaken their position. Actually, uh, Scion has appeared to have uh, reached into the third place position, leaving Yellow in the dust, orange in the dust. Uh, we're looking to see where the red member uh, went. They are uh, not moving at this time, but blue up oh, there's there's the red participant right there. Actually, red appears to be in the lead. It's blue, actually Scion, perhaps, uh, coming up on the second place position here. Yep, you see it here, folks. Blue has pulled from the third place position into second place, with blue really challenging him for that position to take it back. Oh, that is a very close race right there, folks. They are rubbing shoulders as they come into that position over those tires and stone walls. It is anyone's guess who is going to get into the second and third place positions. Blue and Scion are really killing it there. Red actually uh, seems to have fallen a little bit behind on himself there with Blue very close to him. Blue has actually pulled forward away from Scion and is now challenging the red participant for the first place position. Scion having a little bit of a mix-up there and having to reset themselves to go under those rocks that might have cost them a little bit of time there, giving Yellow a chance to perhaps take that third place position. Red is still killing it and moving forward and now tapping their next uh, team member and having them now continue forward. Blue has lost a lot of ground at this time, folks. Blue is now getting over that last set of tires and tapping their teammate forward. Blue is now running forward, the next participant of their team. Red is still way, way ahead. Cyan and Yellow are coming very close to each other here at uh, being tied for third and fourth place here. Orange. Orange, right. Runners, please remember to just jump once or twice throughout the race so we know where you are. Red is still in place, but Blue is uh, closing that distance between Red very, very quickly here. It's anyone's guess if they might actually uh, pass up Red for that first place position. As we all know, Blue was actually in the lead in the last two parts of this race. It's anyone's guess if they're actually going to actually take this position back. It would almost seem like Blue is actually now taking the lead in the first place with Red behind them, passing them there. It would also appear that yellow has also, or orange has also, gotten into the third place position with Cyan falling into the fourth place position. Blue has taken back that lead. I was just about to say, folks, that blue has been had a very strong lead in the last two parts of this race, and they have just taken that back and have now tapped their next team member before red has even cleared the last three obstacles. This race, race might already be decided, folks, but don't tell the other teams that, especially the red team. They still have a chance to hit that first place position if they really catch up to the blue participant. 
Blue is just getting out of that last set of logs right there with Red very close behind, but they're still going to have to crawl under those logs before they can catch up to Blue, who is already moving across the jumping barriers. Yellow is uh, still in the third place position, getting over the last set of tires just now with Cyan very close behind. Cyan is uh, uh, orange, sorry, orange is now tapping their last participant, and if I'm looking at that hat correctly, yep, that is Bridget. <laughs> Blue is still in the lead with Red very close behind, but I'm not sure entirely if they are going to close that gap enough to take that first place position, but it will be a very close second for sure. Yellow and Cyan are, well, um, I'm not quite sure what's happening over there in my spectacles, but it appears that Cyan, uh, nope, Yellow is still in third place with Cyan close behind in fourth. Red has... a Apparently taking the lead in a last minute. Folks, you are seeing it here live. Red has taken the lead under that last set of logs there. Not quite sure what happened there, but they are now coming up on their next uh, participant here for their team with Blue trying to catch up desperately. Red is already on the move before Blue even reaches their team member. Blue is going to have to really try and retake that position once again. This has been a complete flip-flop, this entire fourth part of this race, folks, between red and blue. They are really, really acting like a bunch of wigwag lights going between red and blue as they flash across this track. Yellow is still in third place back there, coming over the last couple of jumping hurdles here with Cyan close behind. It seems that Cyan got a little bit hung up on that one there, and oh my goodness, I'm not quite sure what's happening there, but somebody call an exorcist. Yellow has just tapped off their final member of the race. Actually, uh, sorry, second to the last member of the race, but Cyan coming in close behind and now tapping off their member, and their race has begun as well for this lap. But the other members of this race have already reached the halfway mark. Red and blue are coming up on the last half of this race right now. Definitely going to need the blue and red member to jump the next time they get over an obstacle because in my eyes they were going the wrong direction on this race. But blue is actually taking the lead once again on this race. Folks, this is an incredible, incredible thing to see here as blue and red continuously pass each other up to take that first and second place position. I have never seen a race come this close before. I, have, I am not sure which way this will go for the first and second place positions of this race. We're now looking in on the uh, yellow and cyan versions, uh, or uh, team members of this race. Cyan uh, is in third place, still with yellow in that fourth place position as they go uh, under the last set of logs there before they reach the uh, last jumping parts. Blue is <laughs> about to lap yellow, very close to it at least. Uh, we might actually see that happen in this next part of the race, and that was definitely going to confuse the speaker here very soon as to who is in first and second place when we see them lap the other members here momentarily. For anyone just tuning in, it would almost appear as if Cyan and Yellow are in first and second place, but that could be further from the truth, folks. Blue team is still in the lead with Red very, very close behind on a vengeance streak, trying to get in on that first place position again. We are team, seeing the uh, last member of Team Cyan, which I believe is coordinator uh, and, and assistant chief uh, Campbell, Coming in on that last position there, she is really getting over those uh, obstacles as quickly as possible there with uh, the last member of Yellow also coming up behind. And, oh, I actually did <laughs> unfortunately miss, but I will announce that Blue has reached the finish line at first place with Red at a very close second place, folks. You heard it here. Blue in first, Red in second, and a car crashing over the uh, barrier there. Anyway... Watching the race now, we now see uh, Campbell in uh, Team Cyan coming up on the last set of logs, and Team Yellow is very close behind her. This could be very close, folks. Very, very close for the third and fourth place positions. Is anyone's guess who will win this race? This is a now a neck and neck race between Cyan and Yellow as Cyan comes out of those logs right before Yellow does, and in fact, is much further ahead. This actually might be a decided race here, folks with Cyan coming on third place. So long as the Chief does not trip anywhere and the last one, she's clearing the last set of tires and she is crossing the finish line to give Team Cyan 
third place with yellow coming on the fourth place position, folks. And that is the end of part four of this race. The referee. All right, we're tallying everything up and we'll uh, let you guys know the final uh, count. There if it we is. could have our helpers clean up the, uh, the area, that'd be great. All right, folks, as the coordinator and referee, go ahead and tally up the final points here and send them over to me. I just want to also announce a very special thank you to everyone watching here tonight because we have officially reached and surpassed our goal of $1,000 towards the community of San Andreas' finest. We are now sitting at $1,014.09. So appreciate it to all of you. Again, everyone who has uh, donated tonight to our fine, fine community of San Andreas will be uh, addressed at the end of this uh, broadcast when the race has been announced and everything is final. I am now getting the numbers for the finale of this race, which will decide the winner and second and third and fourth place. Now, folks, the prizes only extend to the first and second place winners of this race. And the first place winner, of course, will get a lifetime supply and membership to Burger Shot here in San Andreas. Again, very counterintuitive for the athletes we see here today. All right, folks, coming in at fourth place with 26 points is Team Orange. Coming in at third place with 28 points is Team Cyan. And folks, here it is with second and first place. Coming in at second place with 34 points is Team Red. And coming in at first place with just two points to spare, Team Blue, ladies and gentlemen. Team Blue has come in on first place in this race and has successfully won the tournament. And the lifetime supply for all of their members to Burger Shop for as long as they live, which folks probably won't be very long with the amount of cholesterol they will be getting from that deal. Also folks, whoops, don't mind me as I fall off the uh, stand here. Um, Second place winners, which is uh, the red team, they are getting a $10 certificate towards Burger Shot for, well, $10 versus burgers, basically. I believe that's actually one meal. So they are getting one meal in second place as Team Red, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to all the participants. I will now give it over to uh, the uh, coordinator if she has any words. All right, guys, thank you all for attending here. You guys are an amazing community, by the way. It's amazing to be able to get, like, what, 50 people here together for something like this, despite the lag. Um, I do greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed the race. Um, and to all those who are following and supporting us from outside the community, we greatly appreciate your donations, your views, and your love for this community. Um, it's been quite amazing to set something up, and we couldn't have done it without you. Uh, but for all ado, I think we are going to go ahead and start our regular patrol. Uh, again, thank you all for showing up, and we'll see you guys in the game. Shots fired. fired. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> all right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, now uh, for the final part of this broadcast, um, uh, if I could ask our referee, Faze, is that the entire list right there? Negative. That's oh, coming here. <laughs> all right. Well, for all those who uh, were here for the race, this is the conclusion of the race. However, the last part of this broadcast will be reading off all of the names of the people who have generously donated to this community. I'll read off here very, very shortly. Please let me know, uh, Faze, when you have uh, completed that list. That is all. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, grab that real quick. Begin reading off the names of all those who have donated tonight to hit and surpass our goal of $1,000. We're now at $1,014.09. Again, we apologize for uh, all of the alerts not working here tonight. Unfortunately, uh, it was meant to be that we would announce each one of the donors as they came across. However, that was not possible tonight. 
So give me one moment as I bring up all of these fantastic names on this list here. And as you can see, all four teams, as well as security and other members, are here to clap for you and your support of all of us. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The names are as followed. Pug. Roan. I wonder who that is. Zorgirl. James Erdgehart. Jordan Wait. With the knee at the end. I believe that's silent. Weary Polito. No, Weary Pluto 7. I'm going to butcher this list, ladies and gentlemen. Demon Wolf YouTube. Um, somebody whose name is just a period. Mick Gamer 23. O West. Kala. Jonathan. DCM 40311. Hollow Point DPS. P. Parkin. Krista Oliver. Jerryman, DC Dutchman, Vicky Graham 24, Cameron M, Stephanie Plays, what does she play? Nobody knows, Colonel Smith, Detective Bot, <laughs> JC Not Derry Jerryman, uh, somebody whose name is only a minus sign, Jerryman again, Jana Bistall, Swaney 18. 1988, Kala, Goo LOL 78, Audrey, Fiera Thorne, and last but not least, Lady Lavender 44. Again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all of your wonderful donations towards this community. Now, getting us actually to $1,034.09. You are all amazing, beautiful, beautiful people. And again, all of these donations you have given us tonight go directly towards this community and its monthly uh, expenses to keep running and give all the joy to its members and followers here today. I'd like to thank all the participants of the race, the security, all the folks who have come out and watched this race as well as the coordinators and referees and everyone who made this possible here today. And that includes all of you at home watching. So thank you all for being here. Any final words from uh, our referee or coordinator? Uh, none to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to our uh, several points of view of different broadcasters. Again, those broadcasters can all be found down below in the description for each of those participants that you could see streaming uh, from their body cams during the race. As well, thank you again for all of you here today who have donated and all these fantastic participants. That is quite a line of beautiful people down there. Thank you all, and we will see you all on the next one.